Welcome to Rye in East Sussex for our beautiful long weekend. We're staying just up the road in the tiny shepherd's hut. Check out that vlog to uh, see a proper full room tour. But meanwhile, we are spending a long weekend here in Rye and we've got lots of fun things planned and we're going to take you along with us. So we're having a nice little wander around Rye. No particular aim in mind, just taking it easy and taking in the sights. Such a beautiful little village. So we have stopped at the White House Cafe and Bakery. We've got a couple of coffees and we've got a cookie and a blondie in the bag. I'm not sure if I can eat those now, I'll save them for later. Um, but this is a lovely little spot. Really nice artisan baked goods and fresh coffee and in the sunshine as well. What could be better? And this place is highly recommended by our Highly host. recommended by our host, yes. And we sort it out with the trademark uh, white pillars just outside. world famous Mermaid Street. One of the most Instagrammable spots in England. Yeah, um, but it's almost impossible to get an Insta <laughs> shot with nobody in it, well, other than ourselves, yeah. of course. Yeah, so I think top tip, come early in the morning for sunrise or come at sunset, and also be mindful it's a residential street as well. Yeah, and there are vans coming up and down like there the are now. All the time. But we'll pop in our best shots right now. Rye is made up of labyrinthine, cobblestone streets, all higgledy-piggledy with names like Wish Street, Mermaid Street, all fairy tale names. Um, the physical location of Rye is two miles from the ocean and in its time Rye has seen tons of action from smuggling, pirates, flooding and shipwrecks. Rye used to be an island. An attack by the French in 1377 left most of the town burnt to the ground. St Mary's Church behind me is the only 13th century building to survive in Rye. Isn't it beautiful? In the 13th century, Rye was one of the most famous fire... Pu fire at ports. <laughs> fire at ports. In medieval times, the Wishward area of Rye near the Strand was one of the poorest and smelliest because of the fish market next door. In the 13th century, Rye was one of the most famous pirate ports in the world. Goodies are here. What a cool little place that is. We've got some food from Tatner's Street Kitchen. Funky little place. I took a couple of snaps inside, so we'll pop those in here. Um, so we've got a vegan burger. First look at that. Ooh, that oh my God, my mouth's watering already. So now you're interested. You. <laughs> you're interested. He's probably interested in the scampi sub roll. So. We have a oh, scampi sub roll, which smells amazing. I wish you had smelly vision, but they need one of our lunch. Oh wow! And what we got here? We oh. got some halloumi fries. Mm -hmm. Golden and delicious, and I think so. It's just some regular fries. Regular fries, but these I think are like garlic and rosemary fries. Oh. 
flies. Flies? Oh my god, they smell amazing. Oh, you can really smell the rosemary, can't you? Mm-hmm. Wow. Holy cow. How oh, good. Okay, so the scampi sub roll was 8.50, the vegan burger nine pounds, the fries were three pounds, and the halloumi fries were five. So all together, 25 pounds 50. These halloumi fries are really good. Mm, they're really crispy on the outside, but you know how halloumi gets that sort of meaty texture to it. Really nice, perfect, oh wow. Mm. I'm gonna go in with the scampi sub, which we cut in half, so we're trying half each. It looks so good. I think this is gonna be messy. The sauce that you've got on this is so tangy and delicious. The scampi is perfect. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Okay, about to go in with this um, rather messy looking vegan burger. Excuse the sunglasses, it got really bright up. Um, I'm gonna make a mess with this. So this is vegan pulled pork, isn't it, I think? Yes, and it's jackfruit. Yeah, I think so. Mm, it's tasty. Really nice barbecue, like sweet barbecue flavour. Mm. Mm, nice. Really good. Lovely bit of cheese on there as well. Vegan cheese? Is it vegan? Oh, of course, it must be, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never had vegan cheese, I don't think. It's really good. Really nice, juicy burger. Mm. Okay. Quick verdict on Tatner Street Kitchen. Spot on, absolutely brilliant. That's just the kind of thing that we look for when we come away to a, you know, a new town. Yep. Really funky dining. Really, really recommend. Check yep. them out. Well, at the end of a lovely morning in Rye, we have got ourselves some cold chocolatey drinks. Yep, from a place called Noops, which was super, super popular. The queue was very long. That's always a good sign though, right? Yep. When there's a queue for a place. So we're hoping these are gonna be worth it. Yep. So I asked for a recommendation, and um, so they do hot chocolate, milk chocolate, milkshakes, um, and you can pick the percentage of the chocolate. Um, oh, so really? I wow. asked her a recommendation and she recommended 34% chocolate for both which has got notes of caramel with sea salt. Ooh, really? So oh, let's give this I've a got go the then. cold chocolate milk, you've got the milkshake. Oh, we've got the same thing, uh, different things? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Holy cow. That was worth the wait. Wow, what did you say that, this was? Uh, it's 34% milk chocolate with notes of caramel and sea salt. That is bang on the money. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right, Noops in Rye. Noops in Rye. Please, please come. Check them out. Yeah. Wait in that queue. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not to be missed when you're in this area is Bodium Castle and that is exactly where we are now you can see it behind us and Sarah has some Bodium Castle facts I sure of do. course of course this castle was built in 1385 and I think it's probably one of the most beautiful and most photographed castles in England because of this absolutely classic iconic style with the turrets and the beautiful moat you can see behind us now fun fact because you know I love a good fun fact about this moat although it looks beautiful when the castle was in youth, use as both a home and a fortification the moat also doubled as sewage for the 30 toilets yeah that's that where it all went inside the castle that's so where it all went beautiful but probably i bet it hummed a little bit stinky yeah <laughs> um, but this is a national trust property and so all the usual things you know so if you're a national trust member you get some money off you get free parking if you are not it's something like four pounds 20 to park but absolutely worth it you can walk around the castle grounds you don't have to go into the castle and pay admission but you can walk around the castle grounds you can have a picnic um dog friendly dog friendly on a lead but you can't go in the castle yep. with them a um, couple of really nice tea rooms um we'll show you the uh, the castle view tea room in a minute which as it might suggest has a great view of the castle <laughs> so you can grab some lunch there and really just enjoy and soak up the atmosphere It's
it's really bright here, so sorry if I'm squinting. Um, but we've just got ourselves some ice creams from the Castle View Cafe. Um, I've got a nice honeycomb and you've got... Salted caramel. Gorgeous. Very good choice. And um, this is a perfect little spot it for is. a little Lovely. bit of uh, yeah. relaxation in front of the castle. Beautiful. size of the fish in this moat they are absolutely enormous that one there's got to be two and a half feet long I guess here at Bodium Castle and now we are heading back to the car park. We, uh, I had a quick look around the inside of the castle. We've been here before actually. We have, years and years, years ago. Years and years ago. Um, and unfortunately at the moment the turrets are closed I think because you can't go up and down and be socially distanced but it yeah. is absolutely beautiful it and is. well worth the visit. And the weather has really showed up for us today as yeah. well, it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> in fact in a minute we're going to have to get a shot of the water glistening with the sunshine yep. it's beautiful. It's absolutely well lovely. Well worth a day, bring a picnic, bring your family and just hang out. It's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Really cool. And now we're off to our next fun location on our tour of Rye in East Sussex. Now, whether you are a steam train enthusiast, you have kiddos, or like us, you just like something <laughs> a bit quirky, um, the Romney, Hyde and Dimchurch Railway is definitely a place to come. This is a miniature, um, full replica steam railway um, which travels uh, through uh, quite a few different locations around here. We're going to check in, we'll tell you more when we're on it. Um, we are on a 9.50 from Hythe to Dimchurch. Let's go. We're not going to Dimchurch. <laughs> Dungeness. <laughs> we'll see you there. How cool is this tiny little train? <laughs> the traps of time. <laughs> Here it is. This is our carriage. It's our tiny little carriage. Um, everything is very dinky, as you might imagine, being a miniature railway. Um, properly COVID secure, so between each uh, little seating area you've got uh, perspex um, screens uh, very small um, those are just about fits in here but we are almost ready to go it's like two minutes before departure time so you better get in <laughs> and here we go <laughs> So Dozer is pretty well accustomed to loud noises and you know generally stuff being weird in general but I think if you had a dog that had perhaps a little bit more of a nervous disposition um, yeah. this might not be such a great it's idea. It's quite and clanky and loud. Vibrations and things like that. Yeah. But he's cool. Um, but I've got to say I'm ridiculously excited about this. <laughs> I don't there's, know why. There's loads of people like along the track and waving and it's stuff. So it's really cool. sweet. I feel like I'm in the railway children. Oh, it's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> Steam coming through the window. It smells great. 
I'm normally the queen of facts, but today you're in for a real treat because Mac is going to give you all the facts about the Romney Hyde and Dimchurch Railway. So the railway, which is one third original size, has been operating since 1927 between four stations and over about 13 and a half miles of track. The journey we're on now, which takes us from Hyde Station to Dungeness, um, is £22 per adult. It takes about an hour. You get an hour in Dungeness um, to have a look around, so we'll show you that. And then you get on back again. And there are a few different types of services. There was another one leaving from New Romney Station, which was uh, two hours. I don't remember the cost of that. We'll pop, pop it on the screen. Um, so there is something for everybody. Okay, we're picking up some serious speed here. <laughs> we're not, we're really fast. We just stopped at New Romney for the engine to take on some water and we're off again. Um, so some of the carriages that they've got are also fully accessible for people in wheelchairs and I guess also in mobility scooters. Absolutely, at the station as well that we got on and had really good access to the ramps everywhere. That's good to know. Yeah. We've arrived in Dungeon S. We've got about an hour. Uh, just under an hour. Just under an hour yeah. to explore before our return train journey. So we're going to see what we can see in that time. And if we can't sort of see everything we'd like to, then it's only a 20 minute drive back from where we started from, where the car is parked, so we can always come back. Well, there's two lighthouses. There's actually. two lighthouses. There's two nuclear power stations. There's Romney Marsh and um, Nature Reserve. And Dungeon S is about 12 square miles. So it's actually fairly small. And fun facts. Some believe it is the only desert in the UK. But it is not. That was debunked. By the Met Office in 2015. There you go. There but you it go. is like a desolate sort of almost wasteland landscape. Something you might see in a post-apocalyptic movie. Yeah. Very cool. And there are some super nice um, like modernist yeah, houses. Architect design places really and stuff nice. that you can book to stay. So we're going to go and see if we can find a few of them. And imagine living the high life. Over 200,000, and for that, you get this. We have just boarded for our return journey back to Hythe. Bye bye, have a lovely time. such a fun thing to do um, it's difficult to describe the kind of excitement you feel when you get on a, like, a little steam train like that it's almost like you're being a kid again isn't it um, but yeah I highly recommend the uh, Romney Hyde and Dimchurch Railway but definitely give it a go We've just popped back to Dungeness in the car, um, on the hunt for some good places to take some photographs. Insta shots. Insta shots. Insta spots. <laughs> We've made our way out onto the beach um, to these rundown old boats and old trackway that was obviously used to get them up and down or the catch up and down. Um, some of it's still working fishing ground out here, so um, fishermen out there as well but this old dilapidated stuff really does make for some good photos um, but it's very cool
Dungeness. We had a really good time taking some cool photos, so hopefully we got some good shots. I did have one total photo failure though, where I took a picture on self-timer, thought it would look really arty and cool, but uh, it just ended up looking like I was serving someone through a serving hatch. So I'll put it in here so you can have a good laugh at it and see exactly what I mean. Um, but we're now going to head back to the Shepherd's Hut, we're going to chill out and have a nice relaxing afternoon. We are finishing off our lovely long weekend near Rye with visits to a couple of beaches. So we're at Camber Sands, which is regularly named one of Britain's top 10 beaches. It's got these beautiful sand dunes. Um, it's an area of special scientific interest because of over 250 wildlife and plant species that live here. And I seem to have lost Mac and Dozer in the sand dunes. Oh, huh? there you are. <laughs> My feet are sinking right into the sand, it's so soft. We've actually parked at the western end of the beach um, today. The eastern end, uh, further over there, is where all the holiday camps are. Um, so very, very popular. I'm um, sure there's lots to do up there, but this is a quieter end. Um, parking's pretty straightforward. Um, you like check in with your card, and then when you check out, it deducts the relevant amount for the length you've stayed. And um, I think even if you're here all day long, it's only 15 quid. Well, I say only 15 quid. But, um, so yeah, absolutely awesome. The beach goes on for miles <laughs> and the sea is so far out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll take us a little while to walk there, I think. We're going to go see if we can get Dozer's pool wet, pool's yeah. wet, but it might take us a little while to get there. <laughs> yeah, at Dozer's speed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a nice short trip to Camber Sands. Um, really recommend spending the entire day here actually. Bring picnic, sand castle making equipment and really enjoy yourself. But now we are off to a place called the Globe Inn Marsh, which is just near Rye uh, for some yummy lunch. We've made our order. I have gone for the squash and spinach burger, which sounds so good. Mac is going for a bonfire pizza with a choice of toppings, and we've also got some white bait. I love white bait, but sometimes it's a bit fishy. For fish, it can be a bit fishy. <laughs> but I'm very much enjoying this passion fruit flavored cider, which is so refreshing and delicious on this sunny day. It is very good. And I've gone for a hooker's hooch, which is the house beer at this place, and it's delicious. Our white bait is here, and I wonder if Sarah's fears about them being too fishy will be realised. Just don't like it when you can see the eyes. <laughs> Um, and this is bonfire pizza, and it's got mozzarella, tomato, and uh, rocket peppers, olives, red onion. I chose those. Lovely, thank you. Um, looks and smells incredible. Taste verdict. The flavours work really well together. The squash and the spinach taste really nice. I think the burger could do with being a bit firmer, um, so it's a little bit difficult to eat. I think this is going to get fairly messy, but overall, tastes good. What a delicious lunch. Wasn't it? That was really, really, really nice. Good. Very cool pub. Weirdly, my favourite thing was the passion fruit cider. <laughs> it ought to be at so six, delicious. Six pound twenty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, not cheap, um, but really nice. Um, and if you go and visit the Globe, um, check out the shady side of the garden. We sat in the sunny side, which was lovely, but the shady side looked really pretty. So Very definitely cool. sit there. So just like that, our long weekend in Rye has come to an end and we're on our way home. Um, but on our way home, we've stopped at the beautiful Berlin Gap, which is today is just absolutely stunning. QB roll. Thank you. 
beautiful sunshine, there is literally no wind, the beautiful white cliffs and the sea is just like crystal, crystal clear, blue. absolutely beautiful. Lovely place to come, sit down, chill out, bring a picnic, yeah. but don't get too close to the edge of the cliff. Please do not get too close to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've had such a fantastic long weekend in Rye, haven't we? We've really enjoyed it. We have, from staying in our tiny but gorgeous shepherd's hut to wandering those lovely streets of Rye and seeing everything in the local area, we've had a fantastic time. So if you're looking for something to see and do in the local area, we really recommend it. We've had a fantastic time. We have. It's been great. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't already tried Airbnb, hit the link below. Um, you'll get up to £50 off your first stay and we get a little bit off our next stay. So everybody's a winner. But for now, we hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, hit the notification bell. So no. You, oh, give no, it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up first. Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> hit the notification bell so you don't do, miss our next upload. Just do all do the things. Do all of the things. Okay, That'd all be the great. things. We'd That'd really be great. appreciate it. We really hope you've enjoyed um, it. And we've got lots of videos coming up soon. We've got loads of trips planned. If you haven't seen our kind of trip guide for 2021 we'll link it somewhere so you can go and check that out so you can see what's coming up um, but we'd love to have you along so please do uh, hit that like button and subscribe we'll see you soon see you in the next one bye, bye.